customer Aaron Swenson bought from us online today. So I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. It went out today, I'm happy. What if she's not at home? She, she won't, won't be, be happy. happy. Use UPS. She can get a text alert, reroute, even reschedule a package. It's UPS my choice. You happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. This is Phil Ferguson for GoTips.com, and today was definitely not a night to leave your seat as your Akron women's basketball team pulled out a one-point victory over the Eastern Michigan Eagles. With the 82-81 to 81 victory, your Zips moved to 15-7 overall and 6-3 and in MAC play, where Eastern Michigan drops to 5-17 and 17 overall and 3-6 and six in the conference. After Eastern Michigan scored with five seconds left, Akron drove the length of the floor, and Rachel Tekka was your hero, scoring with .7 seconds left to secure the victory for the Zips. Tekka's last two points gave her 20 on the night, and her teammate, Carly Young, added a game-high 23. Hannah Luberg, Mac East reigning player of the week, had 11, and guard Taylor Rupert had 11 as well, with two big free throws coming down the stretch. Here's what head coach Jody Ketz had to say after the game. Well, I mean, we won the game, but I, I gotta really give a ton of credit to Eastern Michigan. I mean, they gave us everything. We had a lead, I think, 11, 12 points in the first half. They kept fighting. Uh, you know, they made some great shots. They killed us on the offensive glass. I mean, they, they really, I don't want to say they deserve to win, but they have ed had every right to win that game. And, um, you know, if it wasn't for Carly Young, her performance today was outstanding, which I'm so happy for Carly because she's been struggling shooting, but she comes in every day, came in extra the last couple of days. And the last three she made, she wanted the ball. I mean, and Carly hasn't always wanted the ball. And then the big uh, deflection and then the pass. Um, you know, so yeah, did she single-handedly win the game? She sure did. You know, I mean, Rachel came, you know, Rachel did an outstanding job, but, you know, in the last five, six minutes, we finally got her the ball inside, and, you know, we need to get her the ball inside. Um, Sina struggled offensively, but she gave us, again, you know, 10 rebounds, um, and we took care of the ball. That was a big thing for us. We, we had too many turnovers the second half. I think we had eight, but we talked about, you know, keeping that to very small numbers, and we would have more opportunities to win the game, and, um, you know, I... It was a great ending. Uh, I, I give my kids credit. They fought and fought and fought, and we finally finished the game, so I'm really happy with these kids. You know, I'm one game at a time, to be honest. I've only seen Miami as we're scouting other teams, so I haven't really spent too much time breaking them down, but Miami, outstanding team. Uh, they have a great point guard and a great center. Olawinski, the center, you know, double-doubles all night long. Um, and then, obviously, Courtney Osborne, one of the best point guards in the league. Um, two great seniors, and uh, I, I know that we've always had some good wars with them. Um, you know, at Miami at home. So we'll be prepared. They set a lot of ball screens. We have to do a really good job of containing her and uh, do a good job of rebounding, which I don't think we did a very good job today. We got out rebounded by 17. If you look at the thing, uh, you look at stats. I mean, if you look at stats, you know, they should have probably won the game today. And I give them a lot of credit. They're a very athletic team. Again, th you know, their record does not indicate, you know, how good that team is. They've had some injuries, and those kids keep fighting. So I, I give uh, uh, Tori a lot of credit and his coaching staff and his kids because they fought hard. Your women return to the JAR on Saturday, February 16th to take on Ball State at 5 p.m. It's going to be the first of a doubleheader as the men face Bowling Green at 7.30 p.m. after the game. For tickets information, visit ZipsTickets.com or give us a call at 888-99-Akron. I'm Phil Ferguson for GoZips.com. Go Zips!